welcome to the special edition of the program. I'm Yamani Wallace. And I'm Michael Fuentes. And we're here at the 21st Annual Castle Valley Golden Eagle Film Festival. Anthems of Diversity is the amazing theme. Here's more with Hillary Trejo. Anthems of Diversity is an overarching theme of this year's Golden Eagle Film Festival. Today is a reflection of how changing the industry is and how filmmakers are becoming remember more inclusive which film is your favorite because you'll be able to vote. The Golden Eagle Festival is aiming to showcase different representations of student filmmakers from across the globe. The film festival demonstrates how important it is on how people are able to express themselves to talk about different diverse issues and expose their culture to their audience. I'm definitely glad, glad to be like, living in a time where diversity is becoming more of an issue and we're living that in a great culture and uh, yeah, we're going to be seeing more diverse films in the future. Although people are different, they can still come together to enjoy an activity despite their differences. To the theme of diversity, I think it means that even though we're all different and we all maybe not look the same or maybe not have the same exact values, that one thing can bring people together and diversity can you know, come together in, in harmony. Diversity awareness is important because it helps people feel secure and able to express themselves on how diverse they can be. Everybody is about accepting other people and respecting everybody. That's what like diversity is and it's kind of showing how no matter how crazy your ideas are or how eccentric you might be, you won't be feared of being rejected and just being accepted. Diversity isn't just important to demonstrate the differences between cultures, but also to demonstrate the prejudice that other cultures face as it helps bring issues to light. Films are a perfect way to show its visual representation of people's voices, and in the Golden Eagle Film Festival, several filmmakers were able to showcase their own cultures into their films by showing real-life issues being converted into stories. This is Hilary Trejo for the program. It all started here at the State Playhouse 21 years ago on the campus of Kelsey, Los Angeles, where the first Golden Eagle Film Festival was held. The festival, created by Dr. John Ramirez, was first held in 1998 as a pilot program for continuing high school students to introduce them to the college experience. That experience, that quarter, was very successful. So in the process, or one of the agreements uh, in taking on this pilot, was that at the end of the quarter there would be a showcase, a public showcase of these students' films. So we knew that was going to happen, we were planning for that, and then it's just kind of, at some point it struck us, well, why don't we kind of expand this to include Cal State LA students? Here's what one of the students had to say about working with Dr. It's amazing. He's so easygoing. It's it's been an absolute pleasure working with him. Um, he finds solutions to everything. There's nothing impossible. If you face something like, because I remember during you know class hours, we would be like, oh well, we can't we can't find a solution to this to that. But he'll always always come. You know, he'll always find something. The best solution. Here's what Dr. Ramirez had to say about the process of making a film festival. Film festivals are like, they're a lot of work, uh, nothing ever goes right, you know, but the satisfaction of pulling it off and, and seeing it happen and seeing people kind of network and have a good time and, and find it rewarding and then seeing filmmakers, uh, you know, being very uh, proud of being able to showcase their work publicly. I mean, those payoffs are very, you know, make it worthwhile. From the Golden Eagle Film Festival, this is Joseph Pinner reporting for the program. Well, we're here with Dr. Ramirez um, at the 21st Annual Casa de la Golden Eagle Film Festival, and we do have some questions for you. Mm -hmm. I just want to know, what encouraged you and drove you to start the film festival? Uh, like the fact that we did, that we never had had one, and uh, it, was, it was time it was needed. I mean, I came, having come from UCLA, 
every year there's a showcase of the Sioux War. It's not a film festival per se, but then at that point in what the late eight, nine, what is nineties, mm -hmm. uh, you know, all the film schools had film festivals. So exactly. it, was, it was necessary. Yeah, it was time. <laughs> it was time, definitely. And um, where do you see it going in the future? I would like to see it uh, have or become like a stronger kind of networking opportunity with uh, the industry. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we get some degree of that. We're able to get some industry folks that come every year, but I'd like to see that happen on a bigger scale. Perfect. And how long does it take to plan a festival like this and produce it and pretty well, much get all these films on board? So well, the students have, well, when it was a quarter system, the students had to hit the ground running the first day of class. They had. Well, they had eight weeks to do it. Now in semesters they have a, a couple more weeks, mm -hmm. but nothing really gets started until the first day of class, and then from that point on it's just weekly. And that, you know, they're working really hard, not only in class during the class time, but during the week. They set they set goals for the next week, and they follow through on them during the week, and they come back and compare them. So there's a lot of work. And yeah. This year, Anthem's diversity. Why Anthem's diversity? Why is that representation in global filmmakers and stories from around the world necessary? Uh, well, that intro started last year. I mean, it was and it was um, not inspired. What's the word? It was. It became an interest after the election, and people started to see what you know what, kind of, what, what was coming down, and they thought it was an, an important important for that message to be part of the festival. And so this year, I think the diversity is kind of a continuation of that interest. Um, yeah. So it's kind of a way of addressing the current climate. Well, I just want to say thank you, and can't wait to see what's in store tonight. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Good luck with the festival. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. We have an awesome selection of paints. Welcome back. There are 10 special prizes awarded to filmmakers standing out in areas of technical achievement. Bushra Rafi has more on this. Here at the Golden Eagle Film Festival, 10 of the most coveted prizes are the special awards. And now is the big moment most of us are waiting for, the winners. For best story, piece by piece. For best directing, piece by piece. For cinematography, knock knock. For audio and sound design, international entry by the name of Journey. For editing, irony. For performance, Ophelia. For originality, overtime. For personal enjoyment, Tasty with the Kono. And for diversity, Al Farouk. Even though all the entries for this film festival are short, the process of filmmaking can be very overwhelming. A.G. Shana Field, winner of originality in Overtime, talks about his experience. It was a lot of work, but it was really fun and um, animation, there's nothing like bringing paper to life and seeing um, something inanimate like that turn into, you know, like a film. So, I mean, it's, it's rewarding and it's definitely like a lot of hours we put in, but it's really fun through the, throughout the whole process and I got along with everyone in my team, so it was great. Reporting from the Golden Eagle Film Festival, this is Bushra Rafi for the program. For me, because I visited several micro enterprise agencies that were helping HIV. Thank you for joining us for the special edition of the program. I am Michael Puentes. And I'm Imani Wallace. Have a great evening.